Fox Pop on the Way Show. And for the forthcoming election, we'll be doing a sensitization, teaching Nigerians how to vote correctly. Because it is no news that many Nigerians don't know how to vote correctly. And so that our votes are not void, we need to be able to teach the people how to vote correctly. So come with us as we teach the Nigerian people how to vote correctly for the forthcoming election. Hello, sir. Do you know how to vote correctly? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want to show me? Yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this is exactly how you vote. You put your thumb on the stamp pad and then you vote right here. And then make sure that your hand, your, your thumb has taken a lot of ink so that it can show correctly on whoever, whatever candidate you are supporting. Thank you. Like we know, and like I said earlier, it is no news that many Nigerians don't know how to vote correctly. Some people turn print across the line. Some don't even get so much enough ink to turn print correctly. And that is why we came on the street to teach people how to vote correctly. Thank you very much for staying with us. This is the Vox Pop on the Way show. And of course, it's your girl, Dami. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for staying with us. Presidential and National Assembly elections will hold on February 25, while the Governorship and State House of Assembly elections will hold on March 11. However, according to International Center for Investigative Reporting, the fear of violence and intimidation is making many potential voters doubt whether they will vote on the election day. The recent spike in the number of violent attacks at campaign rallies and other places, especially offices of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has heightened concerns amongst prospective voters. The most important thing for every citizen right now and for those heading out to vote on Saturday, we want to discuss safety at the polling units. Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 0818038463. You could also tweet, us, tweet to us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. So today we're discussing safety at the polling units. Hmm. I mean, I think this is actually very, because look at the um, case that we looked at, I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday, where we had the man that had his arm amputated because he was attacked at the Labour Party camping rally mm -hmm. that happened over last weekend. So if we're already having situations like mm -hmm. that, I mean, I don't blame people when they are retreating and saying, ah, we don't think we want to go out on Saturday to vote or because if this could happen at the campaign rally, what if at the polling booth there is X, Y, Z, Z. So people really are having these concerns, which I believe are very valid concerns, by the way. But mm. at the same time, what can we do? How can we help people? What can we say to people? We as citizens as well, how are we sure that we are actually safe? What mm. measures have been put in place to make sure that things are actually going to go on well? Well, for me, I'm going to say this, and some people may not take it well, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I think everything, as much as we want peace, like yeah. I'm, I'm a huge believer in peace, right? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in bloodshed. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if not we are going... I'm not a woman of war. <laughs> thank you, darling. I'm not. You know, but every day we live is a risk. Mm -hmm. If I step out to get my daily bread, there are chances that I could you know, hit the gutter or I could get hit by a train or just, just it, everything is a risk. Happen, yeah. So in that same way, have that mindset that I'm going out to vote. It is the right thing to do, just yeah. like you get your daily bread, mm -hmm. right? So when you're putting somebody in office, you're putting in somebody that you're, you're putting in your voice to say, okay, I'm giving you the right to decide how I make my daily bread for the next couple of days. So mm -hmm. I think it's a risk worth, worth taking, Take in, even yeah. though we are praying, God I beg. <laughs> Protect us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, talking about safety, I think I'll come from the angle of to not be used as a tool mm. to harm other people or to cause violence at these polling units. 
The truth is what will happen will happen. But at the end of the day, you're being paid what peanuts. Mm. How much would they pay you to harm another person yeah. or to cause chaos? Yeah. After the election and whoever wins comes into power, that money is done. Mm -hmm. So what's the next thing? I think a lot of people are very short-sighted. Yes. And that's why we always have these issues. And, I mean, we have our guest here today, so... Let's hear what he has to say for us, right? To throw more light, light on it. Well. Okay, uh, Dixon Osadji is a criminologist and a global security analyst. Dixon holds a gold standard security certification, the Certified Protection Professional, CPP. He's board certified by the United States of America. He's also an internationally certified security expert and the managing director of Debris Protection Services Limited, a licensed private security company in Nigeria. And he's here with us live in the studio today. Hello, Mr. Dixon. Hello. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Yeah, I'm going to show you. Which... <laughs> <laughs> you look so happy. He's... He's it, he's it. I know, right? <laughs> We're anticipating. I can see you guys are prepared for the election. Well, we yeah, are. We do have our business. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It's now like my ID card because I don't want to let go of it. I want to see it, you know. So... Okay, so yeah, we're talking about safety at the polling units. Uh, however, there were some things that um, we, I don't know if we have those images, if we can just flash those images on the screen. There were some things that I saw a paid voter ed where this, so this page is actually responsible for educating voters on what to do, how to go about the elections, what should be done and what shouldn't be done. And then there were about three images like that that I saw where they said um, there's some, you can just dial star 622 if you see anything, you suspect any movement. So you can report your polling unit officers if they're acting as if they're acting suspicious. You can make a recording as soon as report on six to two because that line will actually be active on um, election. Free it's yeah it's a free toll line that will be active on election day. There's also um, another one that says if you are given an extra ballot paper, return it. Do not thumbprint it because if you thumbprint it you are setting up your polling units for over voting and the results will be cancelled. And I'm sure we don't want that. Yes. We don't want our efforts to go down the drain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's also a third one that says, make sure your ballot paper is stamped and signed by the assistant presiding officers at your polling unit as well. So I think this, this very, these three would actually help us to know how to go about our yeah. doings at the, at the polling units come very key Saturday, yes. However, I'm going to allow Mr. Dixon tell us some things about, right. about how to actually ensure that there's safety at the polling units and such. Go <laughs> well, first of all, since I'm surrounded by the ladies, first of all, you need to avoid high heels that very day. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's very important because your high heels needs to go on holiday. Mm -hmm. In the case of danger, how do you run? You can't run with high heels. You saw the video that was going around about those uh, ladies from uh, Zenith Bank mm. trying to cross through the Of course, the yes, yes. Some of them are putting on flat uh, sanders and whatever the case may be. So this time around, you know, uh, when it comes to election security or security chain, uh, children and ladies are the most vulnerable yeah. in the family security chain or in the security chain. You know, but we guys now we can you know find our way out. Just imagine Sa Sanzi wants to cross the fence. It's impossible now. What do you <laughs> <mean? Why> <laughs> <are> you? <laughs> no, I'm just imagining. I'm, I'm just imagining. How... Imagine. Tell me you how I can do it. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Better put on your high head. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just it. Anyway, uh, 2023 is here, just like. Uh, it, it, four years ago, 2019, election came. Uh, we experienced a lot of uh, voter apathy and mm -hmm. a lot of uh, violence. Yeah. Uh, this time around, you know, looking at the Naira war, the Naira conflict, uh, and uh, happening this very time, most people are thinking that maybe uh, the essence is to punish a particular candidate or to destroy the victory of one's, one's candidate. I'm not looking at it from that perspective, and I think m maybe one or two of you are not looking at it from that perspective as well. But when you bring all this uh, into consideration, uh, it's right time for us to understand that uh, the territorial space will be very, very toxic. Uh, the risk will be very high. Uh, this evening while I was coming, um, I think I had a flat tire, my driver pulled over. Between five minutes, we have about eight to nine street urchins uh, some of these louts, so yeah. they came, they surrounded us, and we're just talking. So, you know, being a street, uh, because you have to be streetwise as well when it comes to security. Mm -hmm. Being streetwise, you have to, you know, you know, know the people within your street, know how to relate with them. It's not the time for you to start speaking English, mm -hmm. because there are times this time around, if you want to engage them with pigeon, engage them with pigeon, mm -hmm. because most of these street urchins, when you speak uh, good English, they say, "What are you saying? You are stupid. You don't want to insult you." Yes, so yeah, I, I got involved with them. We spoke some pigeon and all those things. So we 
You know, I tip them at the end of the do transfer because area boys they started collecting transfer now. Started <laughs> 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 collecting transfer. So one of them was asking me, "Ah, Egbo, who are you going to vote for?" Mm. Being a security expert, that's why you need to understand your environment. I understand the environment at that given time, and I know the particular party that they, they are supporting. supporting. Yes. I know the party I'm supporting and my mm. candidate. If I had mm. said who I'm voting for, maybe I will not be here this evening. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Maybe I might eat of the uh, situation at that period of time. But basically, um, for us, we need to understand that when it comes to security, election security, first of all, you need to you know keep your candidate at mind. You know, mm. you can discuss it with people you trust. Don't go and start discussing your candidate in a public space. Somebody yeah. who can slap you, beat you up. We remember last few weeks while, while Labour parties we were trying, we were going for the uh, rally. What's it called? Uh, um, rally. rally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I live in a, uh, in a Chevron Axis, so okay. I saw how most of them were beaten, yes. red-handed. I saw it red-handed. Oh, red wow. So why? Some of them were putting on polo. Mm. So election day, please keep your polo. Mm. Sanzi, mm. keep your polo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep your polo. Dress, dress smart. You know, don't engage in public. Don't, don't, engage, don't engage in public discussion. You can never can tell who is listening to you uh, yeah. because uh, this election is going to be very tough. Mm. A lot of people are out there to, to cause chaos. And the military will be there, the police will be there. Uh, the military have assured us of uh, security in the polling unit. But what I would advise us is that make sure you dress smart. In the case of, hey, if you want to take a flight or you want to take a fight. Mm. But for me, it's good to always take a flight right. instead of taking a fight. Yeah. You know, most people want to stand to take a fight. You are taking a fight because you want to engage the threat. But I don't advise people to, to take a fight, take a flight. If you take a flight, it doesn't mean you've been defeated. It's all about wisdom, application of sense. Mm. Then also, I would advise us to start talking. You know, tomorrow, I'm suspecting some of you will be going to uh, the marketplace to go and get food stuff. You need to put a lot of food stuff at home. Uh -huh. During NSAS, some people do not have food stuff at home. And yes. you saw what uh, transpired. We also saw what transpired. So yes. try and stock up. In the case of any virtuality, you know, when it comes to security, as security professionals, we don't say, God forbid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe in divine protection. But you, we, sometimes we look beyond divine protection. Looking mm -hmm. beyond divine protection is for you to put a strategies in place that will not hurt you and your family mm -hmm. and your children. Some of us have children at home. We have kids at home. So ensure you have full store. Your fridge, your store, fill them up. In the case of virtuality or any incident or maybe a post-election crisis, because sometimes after the announcement of results, there might be riots, there might be fighting somewhere or whatever the case may be. Then I've talked about uh, your dressing. dressing. Don't put on your polo shirt. Don't talk. Anyhow, in the polling unit, dress smart. Remember to dress smart. I think uh, I'll stop there so that we can have an interaction. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very much. Jenny. Yeah. So, um, what would you advise? So, in case if I broke out at, let's say, at my polling unit, for example, okay. what, would, what, would, what should be the first thing I should do? Once that happens, I mean, you already said there will be security personnel, there will be police, there would also be soldiers or army or something like that. But talking as an individual right. who is just going to vote, when yeah. something happens, what yeah. should I do first? And I've not voted, or maybe I've voted. Okay, fantastic question. When you get into an environment, the first thing you do, you need to scan the environment. Yeah. You understand? Any environment you find yourself in any given time, first of all, scan your environment. How did you get in there? Then look at your exit routes. Mm. For example, if I come in through, uh, 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 through, through this uh, exit A, I should be able to know I'm getting out through exit A or I'm going out through exit B. Mm. A, a understand your route. Make sure you understand your route, where you're coming from and uh, where you're going to. That is very important. Then sometimes when you're in an environment, try to anticipate incidents. Try to anticipate uh, crisis. Because most times we are carried away by gist, yeah. carried away by discussion, mm -hmm. carried away by... Uh, I, I, I'm just imagining, maybe you just see Jennifer in the same unit. Hey, Jennifer! <laughs> <laughs> so you are here! Ah, nice to see you, Sansi. You, you are carried away. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't be carried away. Once you see Sansi, just say hi. Right. Sansi will see maybe you are calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's time for you to be very serious. You have to be very serious. So understand the environment you are, uh, you are in, and uh, in the case of any incident, don't try... Because, you know, I remember when I was in the military, uh, an incident transpired sometime in, uh, in, in a state, and some people were looking through the window. People through the window. A flying bullet can meet you through the window. Mm -hmm. I've That's seen a lot, people, a lot of people being killed because when you look at the distance, the, the distance, a bullet can travel 900 meters. Mm -hmm. A bullet travels 900 meters. Yeah. That is that of a Kalashnikov. Travels 900 meters. That means if you shoot it from here, it would get to Four Point Hotel. Wow. That is how far a bullet can travel. Wow. But that is not the killing range. It can get you injured. But the killing range of a Kalashnikov, which most of our security agents, I'm talking about Kalashnikov right now, because our police, 
will be coming out of the Kalashnikov, the military will be coming out of the Kalashnikov, they might want to dispense their arms, some mm. of them maybe they are not uh, disciplined in uh, arm control, release something. Somebody in his house, 900 meters, the bullet will meet him there. Now, when you come, ac in, uh, when you come across a situation like that, don't run, you can't run faster than a bullet. I always advise my people, yes. Because I saw a lot of people when I used happen, they are shooting. They were like, ah, mommy, 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 mommy. <laughs> Your mommy is in the village preparing some stuff. I you, no, no, it's not that way to shout mommy. What you need to do is that try to look for the nearest place for you to lie down, mm. take cover. Just keep crawling, crawling. Because bullets can meet you while you're running. Because you can't run faster than a bullet. Mm. That is very important. But what about, you know. sorry to go, what about a stamp? Like if you lie down, there could be a stampede. No, you can't lie down. That's why I say you have to run to the nearest cover. Oh, nearest cover is place where you know you can take find shelter. Uh, shelter, where you can mm -hmm. take shelter. And if you are taking shelter, you have to be very careful the kind of shelter you're taking. For example, Jennifer, let me borrow your paper. Okay. There are two types of fire. I mean, most people, whenever there is a gunshot, people will just run for cover. They will just go and hide. You have to be careful. You have to know the type of cover you're taking. Now, let's assume this is a shield mm -hmm. and there's a firing going on. And I do like this. I'm not taking cover from fire. I'm taking cover from view. Can you see my face? Oh, no. You can't. But the bullet will penetrate this. Oh. So ensure you don't take cover from view. Cover from view. Take cover from fire. From fire. Cover from fire are trees, pillars, uh, uh, irons, you know, uh, blocks, or whatever the case may be. Okay. So those are the kind of places you need to take cover. In the case of firing, instead of firing, mm. then you crawl to the nearest cover, then try to take a departure from that scene. I answered your question? <laughs> actually, you know, I, I've learned, I've actually I'm learned from you, through, I'm amazed. You're okay. teaching us like so much of security and it's so fun yeah. and entertaining. Yeah, yeah, because I've seen, I've seen a situation whereby an incident was taking place in the northern part of the country. Some mm -hmm. ladies tried to take cover from, like this uh, board I'm seeing, it's covered from view. The bullet penetrated it, penetrated it and killed them. Oh wow. So like this pillar now, back of you, when you take cover from there, the bullet will not be able to penetrate it. Mm -hmm. Even if it penetrates, it's going to weaken the, uh, the strength impact. and the impact of that. So make sure you are taking cover. Don't go and take cover with flower or carry flower tree and say, be shouting and say, no, <laughs> it should not work. So make sure you take cover from fire. And if you are running, make sure you don't run to danger because I've mm -hmm. seen people also run to danger. You are yeah. trying to run from safety to danger. Mm -hmm. So make sure where you are running to, you are not running to the enemy's camp as well. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to understand your terrain, where you are voting. Before that voting day, go around, check your polling unit, carry out an assessment of that environment, look at possible uh, uh, route you take in the case of any eventuality so that you'll be able to find your way home or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. That'll be fine. So that is pre-election security okay. assessment. Thank you. So um, there is this um, popular saying, like just, and we're even talking about it in Mako. We talk a lot in the Mako, right? <laughs> so there's like, um, just go, wake up in the morning, go and vote and go back home. Mm. Like a lot of people are saying that. And then there is the other sect who would say, when you vote, sit down and guard your votes. Okay. So I would want you to address situations like that for people who are like, ah, I need to go or vote to and come back home. So if all of us vote and go home, who is mm. now there to ensure that there is credibility and that our votes are not being manipulated? You're not voting and going back home. But it's not the force for you to vote and remain. Mm -hmm. You have already carried out your civic responsibility by mm -hmm. voting. The credibility relies on the, in the hands of INEC officials and the, uh, what they call the agents, or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. Mm -hmm. But because of the space we find ourselves where election is no longer credible, we are expected to trust all stay, issues. Yes, trust issues, trust psychology. We are expected to all stay behind and count our votes. Do you know how many hours, for example, if you get there around 7 o'clock, you want to wait all through the time to get your vote counted. I don't think that is as advisable, but it's all about personal interest. It's all about your own uh, uh, personal, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, engagement. If you have something to do at home, you can go back home. But if you don't have friends to have G's with yes. every day, you're going to be lonely, or maybe there's no light. There's possibility that we don't have light, because this electricity issue, so it's another problem <laughs> in this country. Problem, yeah. uh -huh. So Nepal might decide to just shut down everybody. They want to go out and vote, you know. And uh, when you get there, stay. Thank God for beavers. You know, the whole essence of beavers, I think INEC have upped their game. The whole essence of big, big beavers, uh, is it beavers or bivers? Beavers. Beavers, very good. It uh, uh, has really mitigated the snatching of box. Boxes. That is why most people want to stay behind mm. and make sure their vote counts. But the beavers, I think, transmit mm -hmm. your, uh, the, the results uh, uh, electronically, whatever right. the case may be. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's uh, important for us to all just wait and make sure. I said you want to get 
the polling officer to do the counting and you go back on Somalia okay. and say your vote has counted. Okay, okay I'm sure AC is born into Because I'm saying uh, Sansa. Sansa is ready to wait and uh, <laughs> count and vote. Actually, that is what I do. Like, I no, it's sit good. That's down nice. and, yes, and I yes, wait. Yes. And usually my polling station, there's like all sorts of entertainment and yeah, museums that's and nice. stuff. That's so nice. Can that's very nice. AC, please go ahead. Sandy. Good to see you again. I, I, my question is still on the flight, uh, flight and fight mode, basically. Um, part of the questions or part of the things we're supposed to do in terms of being safe during the election is to um, look out for suspicious character, okay? Now, these suspicious characters, how do we identify these suspicious characters? Because, of course, in most cases, we might not have the time to go and report these suspicious characters. So what do we do when we see such before fight or sorry, before flight or fight? Fantastic, you see. Good one. I think you are a good student. She's listening. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, you see, uh, there's what we call predictive profiling. Hmm. When you get into an environment, that is why we have the eyes, we have the ears. We have the five sense organs. Yeah. You're able to smell, you're able to see, you're able to you know, hear. Predictive profiling is for you to tell if uh, something is going to take, uh, transpire or if something's gonna happen or not. Predictive profiling can tell you that the environment you are, okay, just for example, now you get to your polling unit and all of a sudden you see some guys taking alcohol, smoking, you know, they are not ready to fight any person, but that's an indicator, first indicator that hey, in the case of this result did not go well with these guys, mm -hmm. there's possibility under the influence of alcohol or under the influence of uh, their smoking, mm -hmm. uh, something might uh, uh, transpire. Mm -hmm. So on the fight or flight situation, it's not for you to go there and say, hey, today I'm going to fight, I'm going to take a flight. That is a uh, probability in the case of an incident. Mm -hmm. When an incident transpired, do you want to take a fight or mm -hmm. do you want to take a flight? Mm -hmm. Taking a fight is that you want to stand and fight. Remember, you want to stand and fight or you want to stand to fight those guys or whoever are involved, there's possibility you'll get, you get injured. Yeah. There's possibility you, 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 you get killed. Yeah. There's possibility you go blind. Yeah. Now, the whole essence of uh, election is not to split the blood. The whole election of election is not for us to share, uh, to share human blood. It's for us to look for people that will come and take us to the promised land. You know, this is the eight years in this very administration. And for me, I, I keep saying it that... Uh, What's happening in Nigeria is just like the closing ceremony of this present administration. The eight years I see it has personally <laughs> been in the wilderness. So most of Nigerians, you can see, uh, just like the three pol political parties, Peter Obi, yeah. uh, 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 Senator Tinubu, and uh, Atiku, yeah. everybody are coming out to you know, air their views. You can see banters from both parties everywhere. The tension is very high, whatever the case may be. So on that day, remember, some people will come there to, you know, Discharge your grievances. Mm -hmm. So on the fight or flight issue is when an incident transpired. But if nothing happened, remain in your polling unit. Don't discuss about your political party. Don't go and start saying, Peter will be, ah, no, no, the guy tried. Mm -hmm. He went to Ajibule. Ah, if you see the kind of people, there's a guy that stood on the road, open his hand. <laughs> ah, but man. You know, truly, let's be honest, right? This is Nigeria. That is so hard because I go to the bank. Mm. Like when you queue up on the line, that's literally all the conversation you have yes, around you. Not election People day. People either complaining of how they're frustrated. And yes. Even on election day, like when you go out to vote, you would hear people like... It's, yeah, people talk. Yeah. People would talk. You, you hear people we're talking about that. We're, yeah, we're, we're, talking about, we're talking about personal safety now. Yeah. 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 There's possibility you go and talk all through the day. Mm -hmm. There's possibility you go and gossip all through the day. And possibility you go home safely. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes. Now we're talking about, should be case of any eventuality, what are the safety precautions you're supposed to take? Mm -hmm. Or for you to avert any possible crisis? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it not better for me to keep quiet? Mm -hmm. we've, we've seen people being beaten up because they put on Peter Obi's shirt yes. here in Lagos. Yes. Is it on election day? You never can tell where the instigation factor is coming from. Mm -hmm. Somebody might say, if you see any person with this political shirt, beat him up. Right. Why would you want to be the victim? So that's why we're here tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I like what she said about predictive, predicting yeah. profiling. Predictive profiling. Protective. Predictive. 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 Yes, okay. you profile predictive somebody profiling. predictively. Yes. You know, you can tell it's action, you know. When I came in here this evening, I look at the three of us and say, wow, this country is blessed. I don't even see. I'm not <laughs> speaking. Those guys jack and I say, ah, you guys don't look like people that will jack in the next 10 years. <laughs> so, at least can three of you, I can that? see that you, you can, you know, carry on the campaign of 
Say no to Japanese. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I mean, so, talking about predictive profiling, yeah? And, I mean, we know that some of these styles have a certain look. Um, but then, at the same time, the same way you're educating us on how to dress smart and how to look good, that I feel like there are also people who would disguise. Okay. Mm. Yeah. They're going to come there looking like the regular um, citizen, like you and me. They will look at us or they will probably see someone like me. I'm probably dressed like this, coming to the polling units. And they probably, ah, this guy has sense. So, not knowing that I'm coming there to cause chaos, I'm trying to break one bottle, one or two, that kind of thing. And, I mean... Talking about that, I also feel like it's important that people pay attention to these things. Oh, yes, like, there might be somebody who is out there at the polling unit with you who is going to be smartly dressed. Mm. Doesn't necessarily oh, mean they are there for peace. Yeah, very correct. Yeah. So that's why he also said, like, make sure that you are at alert. Mm. Yeah. I don't, it doesn't matter. Some people might be there for a long time. Probably be there for three hours. Put on the suits yeah. and you, you the get, and then yeah. they are causing, they are causing trouble and causing chaos. Because I feel like even if you look at the whole money, um, the Naira no, redesign thing, mm. and even at the banks, sometimes you would not expect the people who are going to cause chaos to be the ones to cause chaos. That is true. Yeah, very true. You never, you will never see true. it yeah. coming. Yeah, very but those are the people that they plant, and I feel like because. We, as Nigerians, or even as humans, we profile people a lot. Yeah. There is this certain look. We say, oh, this person looks like this. Look like so this you thing. should be like this. Yes. But that, that might not necessarily might be, be the case. Yeah. And because there's been a lot of profiling since 2020 up until now, yeah. I feel like a lot of people are going to disguise on that day. So it is important yeah. that... You stay at the last. Me, I'll suspect yes. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, when I was talking, just 30 seconds, when I was talking about uh, dress smart, I, I'm not trying to let you define, I'm not trying to define how you appear. I'm talking, trying to tell you, in the case of any incident, yeah. can you run with a high heel? Yeah. Mm. If I check the three of you, everybody's putting on a high heel, yeah, you know? <laughs> so can you run with a high heel? Mm. So dress smart, yeah. in the case of anything, so you can run. No, uh, Sansa have told the world clearly that She's athletic. Don't mm. try her so she can take a flight in case of any incident. So that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you just tuned in, we're discussing 2023 election safety at polling units with Dixon Osage. Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You could also tweet to us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. So yeah, I mean, we've been talking about profiling, we've been talking about how to dress, we've been talking about... General safety. Streetwise. Yes, being streetwise. I, I like that part as well. You know, when yeah. you see people, I always say to you, but you see people that, are, that look a certain type of way and then you want to start speaking English with them, uh, you're going to get them uh, agitated. Get them. Yes. Of course. That's a valid point, especially Nigerians who are coming in from outside mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. Leave that man, man, man. Right? <laughs> leave that man. man, man, man. <laughs> And come, just bend your cap, stretch your cap when you come. Leave that man. Blend it as much as you can. You no, know, man is provocative. Mm. Just go to hello, man. What are you talking, man? Who's body, man? No, they will give you mess laugh. Oh my goodness. They will give you mess laugh. No, the atmosphere is, is toxic now. Everybody yes, is everybody's angry. upset. Everybody's upset. There's a lot of frustration. We're upset. When my car broke down this evening, the area boys came. They told me that I would give them 20,000 naira. Wow. What? So when the guy was talking, I now said, come, I will change it for you guys. So, do you want me to identify myself? I can give you guys something, but don't make it a must. So yes. I thought I talked and they not, oh, I listen to them this evening, I feel so bad. Those guys say they don't want to go into robbery, they don't want to go into stealing. Mm. This is how they speed. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So 2023 is coming. We have the decision. Yes. Sorry, the decision is the, the, the power is in our hands. Yes. 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 To make Nigerian great again. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm. Make Nigerian great yeah. again. Okay, I think we have some comments. You see. Okay. Uh, yes, I was going to ask a question okay. as well. Please go ahead. I was going to ask Dixon one more question. Yeah. In terms of being at the polling unit, basically, we also have the security officials there. Aside from them, who else can we trust in the polling unit? Well, um, over the years, um, we've seen security officers compromising the election in our system. Over the years, we've seen security officers trying to you know, support one or two particular parties. Just like in Port Harcourt 2019, we saw military officers aiding a particular party yeah. and whatever the case may be. So this time around, what we need to do is that, first of all, you trust yourself, you know? Trust yourself and believe in your instincts. Your mm. instincts will never lie to you. Mm. Whatever your instinct tells you to do, do. That's it will not deceive you. Yeah. Then uh, it's true you trust the security officers, but 
trust yourself yeah. before trusting any other person. And talk less that very day because uh, you don't know it's who, even the security agent might have compromised their, uh, their duty call that very day. Mm. So for you, trust yourself. Mm. Okay. If for the ladies, we have personal self-protective equipment, and that's why I've, adverti I've advised ladies to have personal self-defense equipment. Like pepper yes, spray? pepper spray and some other stuff I wouldn't mm. like to say on air. Mm. You know, it's for your own self-defense. Mm. Because for me, I will not fold my hands for you to come and take oh, me out. Yeah, yeah. You can't take me out. For you oh, to take me course. out, i take you out. So <laughs> self-defense is very important. The reason why we're talking about self-defense is that we've seen the vulnerability of our security agent for so long. We've seen yeah. our Nigerians die so cheap mm. for so long. Even our security agent, they are trained so hard and yet they are dying so cheap. Yeah. See them being killed. Saturday is coming, God forbid, but there's possibility that we're going to have casualties. But, you know, I earlier said in security, we don't say God forbid. God forbid but sure. let me say God forbid for the purpose of this program. <laughs> and I know the Nigerians. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, you have, you have comments, please. All right, so we have a comment here. Give me a moment. Okay, let's talk at the polling unit. Is the wisest thing to do on Saturday. Let's talk. Less problem. Stay safe, Nigerians, and vote wisely. And this is Raphael from Zaria. Thank you so much, Raphael. Sandy. Okay. Well, this one says, stay safe and don't disclose whom you are voting for or had voted for. If you are identified as a staunch supporter of a certain candidate, please ensure that you avoid going to the area well known to be in opposition to your candidate. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, I advise that when final result is officially announced by INEC, refrain from, from staging a street <laughs> protest. I heard what your guest said yesterday about matching if his candidate is robbed of victory. I do not agree with him. <laughs> Go to court, please. You can take a step further by articulating and reporting same to the international community who are assuring us of punishing violators of this year's poll. Kudos to Ways for the Enlightenment. God bless you all. Austin from Delta. Thank you so Thank much, you. Austin. EC. All right, this is from our one and only Daniel Dillo, and he says, Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag Ways. 2023 election safety at the polling units is your topic. Your guest has said it all. He made mention of dressing smart and avoid public discussions, which is key. Also, we need to follow due process. When it is time to vote, let us place our thumb on the space provided. Concerning the choice of our candidate with enough ink, uh, concerning uh, our choice of candidate with enough ink to make it bold. Lastly, this election is not a do or die affair. Whoever loses should accept defeat and move on. The person who loses should not feel that he is the one that should have won. It should not be done like that. It should not be done like that because I know that we are very bad losers. <laughs> Once again, happy birthday to your producer, my dear beautiful sister Omolola. Happy many returns and more years in Jesus' name. Amen. Your regular fan, Daniel Ido. Thank you. So Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. So, I mean, I don't think any other person could have said these things as well as Dixon has said it today. He's given us several pointers to look out for. He's told us how to stay safe. I, I mean, the part that is actually sticking with me is the flights not fight because yeah, I'm right. not going to stay back. If I hear anything, yourself, I'll be dust my shoes and I'm out of there. Exactly. You can also do African hair. It's American well, hair. Well, not wearing it. It's American <laughs> hair. Because true, I, 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 I just talk about predictive profiling. Mm. You're, looking, you're looking so American. Listen, well, wow. so wigs. Wigs. You know why? Because listen, if you're a single lady, they will say you're a billionaire. Sansi, don't allow these guys to come after you and say, man, oh, oh, oh. There's money. There is money. Point. Yeah, so <laughs> not allowing to predict you that means there must be cash. You know, thank God for kidnapping. This Naira swap has made kidnapping, has really mitigated yes. the rate of kidnapping. Yes. You know, most of these kidnappers have gone to they've gone on holiday. <laughs> and that is why we also need to appreciate this Naira swap. Personally, I think I appreciate this Naira swap yeah. because uh, mm -hmm. most of these kidnappers, terrorists, they've heard a lot of our ladies in the in the bush, in their bushes, in their various enclaves. And this narrative came as a shock. I am not seeing it from the point of pain. No pain, no gain. 
sometimes we need to go through pain. We need yeah. to, we need not to be anti-government. Yeah. Yeah. Most people think that uh, this narrow design is something that is evil. It's not evil because a lot of people have stuck this money and terrorist group, they are using this money, you know, to buy arms and ammunition. But right now, the rate of terrorism and kidnapping has mitigated. Mm -hmm. So, oh, that's a good <sighs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sanzi. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Isi, as well. It was lovely having you ladies on the show. Before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Ratio Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. Also, I would say please go out to vote on Saturday. Please exercise your civic responsibility. Please, please. <laughs> if you missed today's quote, here it is again. You are your own last line of defense in safety. It all boils down to you. And this is by Kina Rep. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Bye.